Have you ever wondered how a CD stores data? These shiny disks, these compact data powerhouses have been quietly holding on to our information for decades. From music to software, they've done it all. So, let's dive into the fascinating world of data storage on a CD. A CD, or compact disk, is a little more than just a shiny disk. It's a marvel of technology, composed of three main layers. The bottom polycarbonate layer is etched with a spiral track of tiny bumps and pits, which correspond to the binary code of the stored data. Above that lies a reflective metal layer, bouncing back the laser light from the CD player. The topmost layer is a protective outer coating, safeguarding the delicate data beneath. These tiny bumps and pits are the actual data we see and hear. Now you might wonder, how does a CD player read these bumps and pits? Well, it's all about a laser beam scanning the shiny surface of the disk. When the beam hits a bump, it's reflected back differently than when it hits a pit. These variations in reflection are detected by a sensor in the player. This sensor then translates these shifts into binary data, a series of ones and zeros, which the player interprets as sound. In essence, a CD player is just a very precise laser scanner. So, to sum it up, a CD's intricate structure houses tiny bumps and pits, representing binary data. A CD player deciphers this data using a laser, transforming the binary codes into beautiful music or vivid images. And that's how a CD stores and plays back data. Fascinating, isn't it? Like, share and subscribe if you found this helpful.